Okay, so this video is a 007 and unofficial Jurassic Park Jeep update. This is another video with two updates squeezed on it. First up is James Bond. I recently found this repaint of an Aston Martin 1963 DB5. And for my money, I think this looks better than the one Hot Wheels have been using as their official Goldfinger and Skyfall car. I think it's brighter and more attractive. I don't know why they don't use this as their proper Bond car, but that's what I'm going to be using it as from now on. The number plate just says DB5, but that's easily ignored. Next are two new ones for my unofficial Jurassic Park Jeep collection. I'm not going through my old ones again as I'm running out of ways of introducing them. If you've never seen any of them before, then just watch unofficial Jurassic Park Jeep update number 5, as that's the most up-to-date one. This is the seventh car, a Hot Wheels Aeropod. You can see why I think it's suitable. It's green, has jungle rally along the side, animal print, and is a sturdy 4x4. It's a perfect part vehicle. So far I've got three staff vehicles and three visitor vehicles. I'm having this as another staff vehicle to ferry sick dinosaurs in and out of the park. This looks like it could carry a good medium sized dinosaur in its back. This is the other one I found, a Hot Wheels Bad Mudder 2. It's another tough 4x4, but its orange paint scheme and picture of a line on the side doesn't scream Jurassic Park. In the film though, John Hammond, who owns the park, says he also has a safari park in Kenya, so I thought this could have been taken from there and they just haven't gotten around to painting it in Jurassic Park colours. It's a weak connection I know, I just didn't want to leave it on an odd number. Also, to even things up, I'm going to have this as a visitor vehicle to go on tours in the park. So that's now four staff vehicles and four visitor vehicles. Awesome. Okay, so that was a 007 and unofficial Jurassic Park Jeep update and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.